Hello dear friends, welcome back to my channel, Young Newtons. Here is the NEET 2024 PYQ from the chapter Units and Dimensions. Let us see. A force is defined by F equal to alpha t square plus beta t acts on a particle at a given time t. Find the factor which is dimensionless if alpha and beta are constants is Option A, beta t by alpha. Option B, alpha t by beta. Option C, alpha beta t. Option D, alpha beta divided by t. Here, you have to find out the dimensionless factor. That means, the factor which have the dimensions m power 0, l power 0, t power 0. Okay. So, here, how can we solve this problem? Let us see. Here, they have given us the force f equal to alpha t square plus beta t. Here, we can take the principle of homogeneity. What is meant by principle of homogeneity? All the quantities are separated by is equal to plus or minus should have the same dimensional formula. Okay. Once again, see what is meant by principle of homogeneity. All the physical quantities which are separated by is equal to plus or minus have the same dimensional formula. So, from this principle, we can write the dimensional formula for force equal to dimensional formula for alpha t square. So, that is, let us take it as equation 1. Similarly, the dimensional formula for force equal to the dimensional formula for beta t. So, let it take it as the equation 2. So, by solving these two equations, we can get alpha and beta. Let us see how can we solve this. From equation 1, we can write the dimensional formula for alpha t equal to dimensional formula for force. That equal to alpha into t square equal to m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 2. If we, you can solve this equation, then you can get alpha equal to m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 4. Let it be taken as equation 3. And from equation 2, we can write all, um, the dimensional formula for beta t equal to dimensional formula for force. That is m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 2. If you can solve this equation, then you can get uh, all beta equal to m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 3. Let it be taken as equation 4. So, from equations 3 and 4, if you can write alpha t by beta, that equal to m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 4 into t power 1 divided by m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 3. If you can solve this equation then you can get here m term and l term gets cancels each other only t term is remaining. So that equal to if you, you can solve this t, you get t power minus 4 plus 1 plus 3 that equal to alpha t by beta equal to m power 0 l power 0 t power 0 which is a dimensionless quantity so the answer is option b so the dimensionless quantity is alpha t by beta so the answer is option b